this week we are going to discuss about how to convert 2D DWG into Revit. It's a little bit complicated process, but at the same time it's a straightforward process because in the 2D you're missing a lot of data, a lot of details. So we can actually arrange all the data together, compile them in a 3D environment. I mean, uh, your DWG files are located in the right place in the 3D. And then you, you, you are building your Revit model around and on top of your DWG data. When we do that, it might be a little bit difficult in the beginning because you have 2D, 2D and 3D and you might need a little bit more input in Revit, but I will be covering those stuff in the couple of video series for you. So please comment below if you have any difficulties converting the 2D to 3D Revit and if you're using Dynamo for it. When it comes to importing EWG or linking WGs into Revit, there are a few tricks and few steps you need to really pay attention to. So let's go in the Insert tab and from here we can see Link CAD and Import CAD. Both of them are have different benefits, pros and cons, because in the linking you will be keeping the, the original path and original file, if it's being updated, you can reload it quickly. But importing, you are removing the link between the original file and the file that is being imported into Revit. So let's go ahead and start with importing one file. Um, from here, you can see that I have a lot of files over here and these are probably sent from the architectural consultant of AutoCAD drawings. And I would like to start with, I'm level one, so I would like to start with, let's say, um, parking level. I believe it is the first floor. And I will choose, pay attention to here, I will choose origin to internal origin. The reason is that I don't choose center to center. In the future, if I want to use origin to origin for other files, it will always keep them on the same location. That's really important to keep in mind. Another thing I will be doing is uh, I can use preserve, not black and white or invert, because I want to keep the color differences in order to distinguish between the Revit items and to the items to the WG. Another thing to keep in mind is the current views only because this is if you are checking this one in it means that your DWG will only appear in level one and you will not see it in the entire project but instead if you check it out you will be able to see the DWG in 3D you will be seeing the DWG in elevations everywhere so again it has pros and cons by doing this because if you do it it will be easier to collaborate and in 3d you can also work at some level you can put the sections in 3d and you can see exactly where they are and then you can play with them there it's there is a lot of, a lot of benefits doing it but uh, on the other side when you're presenting or when you're showcasing you need to hide them on each each time from elevations or other views so i generally prefer unless it's really complicated i generally check it current view only because I wanted it to be only on this view and I click open. When I do that, obviously you see that it is automatically pinned num rule number one, pin your DWGs because you will move them by mistake. So always pin them. I will select all my elevations and quickly move them over here. And the, the second thing, the second tip to keep in mind is never explode your DWGs. You will regret for it. Always keep them as a block. Since it's current view only, if you go to 3D, you will not see the, uh, the DWG. But if I go and do in the second floor, if I go insert again, this time I will use a link CAD and I will pull in the second floor and again, orange origin, and this time I will check it out and say open. You will easily see that and if I go in 3D, I will be seeing that model, that DWG. And from here, if I go to the level one and level two, they have both the same functions, but the link will give an extra opportunity for us to monitor any changes in the future and reloading it quickly. And the tip number three is to put all your levels, all your elevations, all your sections, floor plans, everything, all the WG files into Revit before you make a single move. Meaning I would go my north elevation, I would link 
the dwg for north dwg for the east so i can start working on them afterwards i don't want to do anything before i import everything clean up your level see my level is intersecting with the building so i can just pull it up so you really work with a neat and professional way don't hurry up so much obviously you need to make it bit and make sure that your all your sections and elevations everything are uh, correlating one of the most important thing is that you need to make sure your floor plans are in line with your elevations in this case you can see that my floor plan is not actually perfectly in line with my elevation and I would like to really keep my floor plan aligned so I will just undo because I change a bit my levels and because they were intersecting but I, and I will go I will uncheck it like uncheck the pin item once I uncheck the pin item then I will just go on to the level one and I will draw a couple of grids yes grids because grids are data elements so if I pull grids in and then if I do another grid over here on the other side of the building and then maybe if there are if I have a major like items here um, I will just go to the sideways I can do I mean obviously the windows I will do multiple grids so let's say if the north is this one I will do there's a door here I will do another grid I mean I'm doing it randomly right now but you need to obviously plan it and you need to make sure that everything is aligned before you start building Revit once I'm done with the grids I can go to the north elevation and from here I can see that uh, the grid 2 and grid 1 was the both sides of the building and grid 3 was the door area I will simply align them by going to modify so if I click on align and select the grid and select the face of the building now we can see that my both faces of the building are matching perfectly and the door is a little bit not in the correct location so i need to understand exactly why is it doing that um obviously i can put i should put all the you know i use these grids to make sure that my all my levels uh, all my floor plans are um, aligned perfectly and having the elevation sections aligned perfectly as well if i go back to the level one I will see that my door is aligned here so there is some kind of a mistake potentially in the elevation but I cannot say anything before I do a little bit more alignment and seeing all the project coming together as one piece if you're assembling all the DWGs into your Revit before you start modeling or else you have another method please just comment so we can discuss on this matter I'm planning to make a part two so you can see when all the WGs comes together how it looks and how do I start modeling if you're interested in watching or seeing such, such a video please comment below so I can prepare it accordingly and if you have any queries again you can just go down in the comment below please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel every week we are publishing at least three videos for you don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you are the first one to be notified when the videos come. See you next time.